Yo, what's up guys? It's Pepper Belly here and look at this. I am back. Every single one of you guys are probably like, where have you been, young man? What have you what have you been doing out late for the past two weeks? You are grounded. No, but seriously, it's actually been a ridiculously long time and oh uh, you know, I wanna become straightforward here. I've just been very busy. This is what happens when life takes over. It kinda just like prevents you from doing all the awesome shit you used to be able to do, which was play video games all the fucking time. But um, anyway, so I'm playing some COD 4, so something completely new for you guys. Uh, you know, I usually said I was never going to do Call of Duty videos except for Black Ops because it was new. However, you all know I got rid of Black Ops because I don't like that game. And um, COD 4 is just superior in every way. I think it's personally my favorite Call of Duty there is. And uh, going into that, I just figured, hey, why not play this, some COD 4 and just film some gameplay of it. So I was in here with my buddy Rarshock and I... Uh, not from, not the actual Rar Shock, because first of all, he doesn't exist, and yeah, it's, I wouldn't be cool enough to be his friend anyway. <laughs> but, um, so I'm playing some COD 4 here, as you can clearly see, I'm not using stopping power, which I used to use all the time. I used to be like a stopping power, like, hound, I'd just put that shit on everything, fuck, kind of like that, uh, fucking sauce there. I'll put that shit on everything, the Frank's Red Hot Sauce or whatever. That used to be like stopping power for me. Um, but now it's like sleight of hand realizing that every gun does negative three trillion damage So it takes like an excess of like 15. I mean look at that. Look at that juggernaut like come on. That's ri ridiculous But um either way this game still pones ass. I mean it's so different from black ops that like It's so much better. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it I just I thoroughly loved Call of Duty so much more than any other Call of Duty I've played Modern Warfare 2 can uh, kiss in my butt it was a good game, but I mean, no. Uh, <laughs> World at War, well, I didn't enjoy World at War at all, to be honest. I mean, the campaign was a really great, uh, you know, experience, just because it was like, hell yeah, I'm killing motherfuckers all the goddamn time. And, uh, pardon my French. <laughs> but, and then Black Ops was just like, you know, too far. You know, they were already taking it too far with Modern Warfare, they didn't have to go that far. And Call of Duty 4 just seems more real, it's more realistic, you know, even though it's arcadey it still holds the realistic feel to it kind of like uh what battlefield 3 is reminding me of right now battlefield 3 is coming out and uh, it reminds me a ton of um what like call of duty 4 was when it when it was released you know when call of duty 4 came out it was like wait a minute call of duty is being want modern now like it was world war 2 this, this doesn't make any sense do not compute and your brain like melts in your head but like, uh, when it came, when I got in the beta for Call of Duty 4, it was like, holy shit, this is the pinnacle of epic perfection. Like, this is gonna be the best game ever! And, uh, yeah, I nearly shit my pants. <laughs> and, but, then, you know, the other Call of Duty's came out, and it staled out real quick. It's, like, every Call of Duty never had the same, like, hell yeah moment or feel that Call of Duty 4 did when the beta was released and we played the game. Like, it was just, this game was thriving. And uh, I still remember sitting there, like, playing this game for the first time in beta form, and I was just, like, talking to my buddy Daniel one which you know him, he's been in a few matches with me, and he really was hesitant and doubted the idea of it being, you know, uh, modern. He was like, hell no, this is going to be a terrible game because it doesn't make sense. How do you turn a an epic, how do you make modern warfare, not like the, I'm not talking title, I mean actual modern warfare, as insanely crazy as... Um, World War II was, where fucking bullets are flying everywhere, there was no rules of war really, there was just kind of like, shoot the kill, uh, there's no like, overshooting people, no one cared, they just had to kill the enemy in every way, now there's all these kind of rules, combat, like, fire discipline, all kinds of shit, rules of engagement, and he was wondering how it was going to turn into a crazy gun fest like that, but, I don't know, I was like, no man, it's going to be awesome, and I kept telling him that, and then look, it came out and it was epic, but then they went too far with every other Call of Duty. So Battlefield 3 is what I'm saying. It's kind of reminding me of that feeling of like, hell yeah, another modern shooter that is going to be not overdone, not cheesy, not stupid. It's going to be realistic. It's going to stick to the roots of core, you know, modern combat. And I don't know about you, but I'm really looking forward to it. And going back to the gameplay here, this is the first match I've actually played in a ridiculously long time. Um, my buddy, Rarshak, you can see I'm playing with him, but he's not really doing too good because, you know, he's too busy uh, getting late at the moment. <laughs> uh, but, you know, he was kind of in the match just doing his thing while talking with lots of vaginas. And uh, <laughs> let's not get into that. It's not, uh, you know, this is for children here. I don't want to, you know, I'm going to keep this PG, even though I'm swearing like a motherfucker. But, um, 
yeah, I don't know. I'm just excited. I'm going to be bringing some more videos back, uh, hopefully. I mean, I know I left on my Twitter. I'm going to be making a, a new rap. It's about Homefront with a mix of on live shit in there. Um, but it's going to be probably a little bit longer till that comes out because I'm really busy and just too engaged in not doing my, you know, being on my channel. I will pop by and try as hard as I can at least put one video out a week uh, as best I can. And, you know, I, I want to get some Homefront gameplay to you, but I've been having trouble trying to record that. And uh, a whole bunch of new games came out on All Live. I've been playing all those too, like five dollar week things they have. Five dollar Fridays, get games for five bucks. I got Dirt 2, fucking Batman Arkham Asylum. I got everything. It's getting ridiculous. So I've been playing a lot of On Live. If you guys haven't already, you know, tried that out, you probably should. So that is all for now. So don't forget to rate the video, comment the video, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more in the future. Come on, it's routine. Everyone knows you got to do this shit. So yeah, take care, guys.